Wayne Rooney trying to get Altrincham up the pitch. So you can see, can't you, from the start they've made why Woking are uh, doing so well in the league this season. Very effective. Come up to Brian in a second. Here's Brown. And he went for a shot, and that was Cashman nicking his foot in. And uh, kind of difficult for us to tell from here, Brian, but the referee's given a free. There's not too much of a complaint there from uh, Danny uh, Cashman, but uh, there's a possibility that, that was just a, a, kick into the tur a kick into the turf. Looking perhaps like a toss up between Casey and Eamon. Casey steps away, and it is Eamon. And he fires oh. it, and it's a fabulous save from Byrne. It uh, looked from here like it was destined for that corner and Byrne got across, read it well and tips it round. He did and he was denied there by good goalkeeping from Byrne. Altrincham need to defend this properly. Mm. Goodness me, some, looked like some grappling going on in there. The ball will get delivered back in. In the end, Jones, I think it was, who dealt the final clearance. Oh, nice turn. Now, chance for another cross into the box and Dakers is free and Dakers scores. <laughs> And Woking deserve that, to be honest. They've been the better team for the opening 15 minutes or so. I think with 13 minutes gone, lovely ball in. Dakers plants ahead of behind Dolly Byrne. It's 1 0 to the visitors. Well, it's been coming. Woking have started really uh, brightly. They fully deserve uh, that goal. Lovely header from uh, Marcus uh, Dakers. The ball sailed over Lewis uh, Baines. Good cross from uh, the left and Woking have started very, very brightly. Altrincham struggling to get their act together at the moment. Yeah, it was a perfectly flighted cross. Oh, a lovely turn from Brown. And uh, you can see what he was trying there, couldn't you? He looks he looks very lively, doesn't he, Brown, in the opening 15? He minutes. does. He's full of confidence. Um, I was impressed with him in the game at uh, Kingfield. Having not been impressed with him in previous times, I've seen him for previous clubs, most notably Wheelstone. Yeah, joined earlier on in the season, 17 goals this year at the start of this campaign at Wealdstone and uh, joined the cards, here come Altrincham down the right hand side Hume just trying to get free, gets his feet and bends a shot that, uh, well I think it was probably tipped round because it's got a deflection somewhere whether that was from a defender or Craig Ross but it, it beat that far post but that's the first time Altrincham have really put a couple of passes together down that right hand side Excellent uh, play from Jordan Hume there he's turned his man and it's a decent uh, effort not sure if it came off the defender Probably the one area of the pitch where Altrincham are well stocked on the substitutes bench in looking at uh, the options that Phil Parkinson might have later in this game. Michael Gassi on loan from Chesterfield. Not really seen that much of him since uh, his arrival. Altrincham run it back high up the pitch again here. That's a nice ball from Osborne. And now uh, a chance. Ooh, awkward one for Hume. Nice little clip ball to uh, Welch Hayes. And that's going to be punch clear by Ross. I thought he could have... Oh, I thought he could have caught it and he was nearly punished it was Reagan Linney at the back post he volleyed a very clean strike against the outside of the post and that's a let off for the visitors well rather surprisingly Craig Ross has uh, made a real hash of uh, that experienced keeper very good uh, goalkeeper but that was a fairly routine catch I think for it so Altrincham have retained it well now that's nice from Marriott and they can get going again down this right hand side perhaps that's that run from Linney, he likes that run off the back of the opposition defence. Good ball into Lundstrom. Oh, the touch was slightly oh, heavy, that should penalty. be a penalty and is. Well, the initial touch wasn't the best from Josh Lundstrom after a nice move down that right-hand side. But McNerney lunged in and I'm afraid from Woking's point of view that was a disastrous decision. Lundstrom's gone over his leg and that's a penalty to Altrincham. Really good move by Altrincham down the uh, right uh, right channel. Penalty to the Robins. Linney steps up and scores. Sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. What a moment that is for Reagan Linney. His first goal as a full-time footballer. Having made the move from FC United of Manchester in the January window, he sent Craig Ross the wrong way. Never in any doubt. It's Altrincham one, Woking one fully deserved as well terrific response by uh, the Robins Phil Parkinson and Neil Sorville will be absolutely delighted uh, with that and what a confident uh, penalty by uh, Regan Linney started this game really went terrific run into the channel just before and uh, smacked the penalty away excellent uh, to see Ooh. 
That was a clever effort, wasn't it, from Brown? I think he got a, well, he did get a deflection. He's given a corner, but um, Byrne might have been a bit troubled about having on target. Yeah, it was a, a decent uh, effort. Oh, nice play. Good cross there from uh, Eddie Jones. He's worked the opening really very, very uh, cleverly. He's delivered a really good uh, a good ball at Altrincham. Have a corner. Cuthbert's over there. Here's uh, Jones again. That's a good ball to Lundstrom. Pulls it across. Oh, it's headed clear. Oh, how's that stayed out? That is an unbelievable save from Ross, I think. I think that's Ross throwing a hand up because it's gone for a corner. I can't see another Woking man in the way. It you'd was Linney, wasn't it? I think he leathered it. You'd have to say that is a magnificent piece of goalkeeping. That is a quite incredible <laughs> reflex save. <laughs> How's it stayed out? Yeah, you can see his confidence building slowly but surely. I have to say that Marriott is... Mm, I'll just leave that to you, Brian. <laughs> Oh, that's a good interception there by uh, Lewis Baines. A threat there, the ever dangerous uh, Reese Brown. He started the second half as he started the first half. He was he was a real live wire in the first uh, ten minutes. Oh, so, <laughs> oh, have got away with one there. Good header initially by uh, James uh, Jones. But eventually the shot is over the That's A good chance for was a good chance for Woking. A good game to watch, and both sides played their part. It's not quite as an exciting or uh, action-packed a game. But here come the visitors again. No, you can't have that as a handball, I'm afraid. That's just good defending from Marriott. Here comes Linney. Pulls it across. It's a goal! So there's Loya Delhi to open his account for the Robins, and it's Altrincham 2, Woking 1. Well, he's barely touched the ball. I think it's his second touch of the ball, Loya Delhi. And uh, whilst that was a, a really lovely moment for him, celebrating in front of the fans, his first goal in senior football, and Linney played his part down the right hand side. I mean, hate to sound like we're repeating ourselves, but Isaac Marriott to step in to win the ball and to drive forward, having just come back on the pitch with that bandage around his head and timed that pass perfectly for Linney, who pulled away into the channel down the right-hand side. And I have to say, from there, there was a bit of inevitability about it. It felt as though Linney was always going to make the right choice, and he pulled it across, and Oyadele was in the place to give Ultring in the lead. <laughs> but they've got a lot of quality attacking players on the pitch. They brought James Daly on for Dakers, and they've got this man, Kyron Lofthouse. Um, you'd expect it's going to come at some point, but it hasn't come yet from Woking. That sustained pressure. It's great play from Lundstrom, he's set uh, Linney free down the left channel. Good ball, but there's a chance! Oh yes! Lundstrom 3-1! Linney once again in ball, and the Robins are in dreamland! Oh, that was a lovely goal, and uh, Marriott with the first one winning the ball in midfield. We've waxed lyrical about them all game. The pair in central midfield of Marriott and Lundstrom. Well, if it was Marriott for the first one, it was Lundstrom for this one, because the, the shimmy on the halfway line to take it past his man. And then again, a perfectly timed ball. And Linney this time appealed into that left-hand channel. Not quite as precise or clean a ball across this time. It was Oyadele who I think he was aiming for on the six-yard line. But the ball deflected back, and I think he'll probably take that as an assist, and it was calmly finished by Josh Lundstrom. Three more to play. Or a minimum of three more to play. Just want to avoid any last minute flutters. No bouquet. Shot comes in. Oh, it's a really good save by uh, Ollie Byrne. Down to his uh, left again. Good foot, good uh, feet movement by the Altrincham uh, keeper. And uh, the shot, a scuffed shot, but it was just creeping inside that left hand post. Whoa. Oh, well, that's it again. Has Burns got there again and somehow it's kept out, or is it Jones? I think it was Burn. I think. I can't quite see from here. I saw his hand stick up. It looked like the goal was gaping and it was it just is. a matter of uh, the net bulging, but Woking haven't given this one up. It's, oh, it's, a, it's a little bit too far and Osborne's going to pick that one up. Yeah, 
that's the clever ball. Burn with the goal kick. That's it. There is no more. It's finished here. Altrincham three. Woking one. It's a terrific afternoon for the Robins. It's a, a bitter pill to swallow for uh, Woking, who will have come here with such uh, high hopes. 1,828 the crowd. 181 have travelled from uh, Surrey.